So many of us have used ChatGPT and are fascinated by its capabilities. So as discussed in the previous video, if we were to ask question as right in the style of Shakespeare, then we get a response in the style of Shakespeare. And the way ChatGPT works is it takes our prompt or the input that we give and sends that over to an AI system. And it processes our prompt and sends us back a response as we expect. And these AI systems are usually called large language models that deal with natural language processing or in simple terms, anything to do with text-based processing. Large language models are trained on a vast amount of text data, which is taken from different parts of the internet and trained over days to help these systems understand what is language and how our sentences and words place together to make a coherent response and also they gain a lot of knowledge during this training process. So now the opportunity of our times is to utilize these trained systems and benefit for our application purposes. And that's where something like Langchain shines because now we don't need to necessarily learn how to train these models from scratch or to deploy them, but rather we can call them through an API call and get responses and utilize them. So that's where we are gonna be utilizing calling these large language models and benefiting from them. So as shown in previous video as well, where we can take a user input and give it to a prompt template and then call an LLM where it reaches out to the large language model and then provides us a response. So this is something that we're gonna look as the first step in our practical tutorial. So what I would like for you to understand is that we're gonna be providing an input and then we wanna call a large language model. And the way this is done in Langchain is through something called chain, where it chains these different steps as shown here on the screen. So it takes the user input, it combines that with a template and sends that to a large language model. But to begin with, let's not worry about prompt template. Let's just take the user input and send it to the large language model, which is usually the case for chat GPT, where we write a question and it responds back with an answer. So the way we're gonna do is we will utilize Langflow for this particular example. So I'm gonna start with something very basic. So let's start a new project. And in here, we just want to replicate ChatGPT. So we want an interface where we can chat and we can send the question to ChatGPT, or in this case, the GPT models. Those are made available by OpenAI. And then get a response and then keep going back and forth as a conversation. So the way we are gonna do that is as shown before, chains are what can take your prompt and then chain it with an LLM call and then give you a response. So in this case, we will take something very simple, which is conversation chain. Now the good thing with Langflow, it even tells you some information about this particular block. So over here it says chain to have a conversation and load context from memory. So that's exactly what we want because ChatGPT understands and also remembers things. With this, we will call the chat base model. Those are the LLM models which are available in the LLM section. We're gonna look for the chat OpenAI model since that's the model that's used in ChatGPT and we will just connect them together. The way Langflow and Flowwise work is that each of the block has some input parameters. So in the conversation chain, we see that LLM is an input parameter and memory is the second input parameter that it needs. 
And in this case, we notice that there is an, an asterisk with LLM that means that's required. The other one is not required. We can provide that if needed. Now in this chat open AI block, it only has an output. So that is something we can connect with the conversation chain. And since it is in the LLM section, it makes it easy for us to know if there is a need for LLM, then we can look under that section, which are the available options. And in case if this is not the right option, it won't connect with the other side. So it needs to match the required input. Great. So with this, the only thing that we are going to provide right now just to mimic ChatGPT is the OpenAI key. And the way we can get these API keys are usually in the accounts associated with those providers. So here with OpenAI, I first created my personal account. And within that, I can look under the user and API keys, and I can create an API key. So if I were to create a new API key, give it some name and create secret key, it will display an API key, which is going to be shown first time. And then you have to keep it safe somewhere as that is going to be password with your account. And this is going to be similar with any of the providers. So once you make an account, it will lead you to a place where you can create API keys. And we're going to see with even vector stores that there is API keys as well as the region and some URL of some form that we are going to be utilizing. So with that, let's get started with our chat application. I'm going to provide my OpenAI API key. And then these are different models available with the OpenAI chat system. So there are some models which are released as of beginning of 2023. There are some towards the mid, but just something to start with. We will start with something basic. So let's get started. Now, the way it works in Langflow is that we have to press this lightning button to activate this flow. So let's do that. I'm going to press this lightning. Now we see that it's green, which means that everything looks great. Now we can ask a question. So I'm just going to ask something simple. What is your name? And once I ask a question, it's going to respond similar to chat GPT, which is great. So with just these two blocks, we are able to mimic and replicate ChatGPT, which is quite amazing. Now, this shows that there is quite a lot that we can achieve in Langflow or Flowwise, and just two blocks can help us build ChatGPT clone. Now, just to give you an idea how this could be done in Flowwise, let's go to Flowwise, and in here I have pulled in a similar block. So it's conversation chain. And I have attached the chat open AI block. And these blocks are available in the left menu. So it's very similar to Langflow, where one could go through different large language models. Now in Flowwise, they have separated chat models from the large language models. So you might have to look under chat models as well, in addition to the LLMs. So in here, I've taken the chat open AI model, attached it to the language model, and then it requires memory in here in Flowwise. So in this case, I have attached a memory that is available under the memory tab. You feel free to take any of these memory. I took something basic and then attached it. And if you were to save it and ask question, let's ask the same question. it will reach out to OpenAI model and respond in a similar fashion. So with that, this shows how we can clone ChatGPT with just a few blocks in both Langflow and Flowwise. Now, if you were to connect the API from both of these platforms, Langflow or Flowwise, and connect it with an interface from Bubble, you could pretty much replicate ChatGPT functionality. And we will explore this in a little more details as we progress in this course.